Y'all sit down and shut the door. Kanye West is being quoted by TMZ, so you know it's already some BS. But listen, already I can see somebody seems a bit upset about Kanye's new girl, the one that you said you idolized, looked up to and thought had the perfect body, right? But I will say this, right? They're trying to say in this article that Kanye's saying that agreeing that Kim can have the kids 80% of the time. When I read it and I literally said, and you know me, I like to I like to reach. I like to get in there and see what I can make of things. You know, I like to gossip. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tisa. I'm your friendly neighborhood gossip, the gossip oracle. I keep track of all this pettiness so you don't have to. So anyway, all jokes aside, right? Hit that like, subscribe button. Don't forget, Candy Burris interview is up. Real Housewives of Atlanta, it's up. Part two, I'll be reviewing right after the show and the members only live. Okay, so let's get into this, right? Um, Listen. Kanye, the way I read it, did not say Kim can have those kids 80% of the time. He was speaking about the way things currently are. And he was also saying that he's also going to support Kim in business because it goes to the kids. I got more on this, but what he's saying makes perfect sense. But you know, Kim Z had to try it. But you know, we got to play doubles advocate too. Anyway, let's go. Well, guess what? Kanye is now saying that the long Cold War between him and Kim looks like there might be thawing. Listen, in a new report, he's talking about how Kim's going to have the kids 80% of the time. Now, he could have just been talking. They still are hashing out custody and also property disputes. Remember when everybody was on there saying, we talked to McAlden, everybody was saying that they have a prenup. There's no share of property. And everybody said I was lying and the new and all that stuff. Well, baby. Even TMZ is now acknowledging that they have a gang of shared property that they need to actually come to a resolution. Forbes said it. The Wall Street Journal said it. I read the articles. Y'all still kept holding up that tire prenup when even the prenup said that if they had property, it would be they would have to split those divide those assets up if they actually ever got any shared property. But anyway, let's get into how Kanye is saying that baby. Um, to which I said, hmm. You did all this fighting and hooting and hollering about Kim. And now you're saying that Kim can have the kids 80% of the time. Now I get it, right? It's a big difference between you have the babies 80% of the time. I have them 20% of the time because I'm flying all over the world as opposed to being disinvited from your girl, your daughter's birthday party. I get it. I get it. There's levels to this, right? Anyway, now this is directly from TMZ. Again, I'm not certain if TMZ is just saying this to catch Kanye in a gotcha moment or if he was actually making a statement. But you know they caught it and TMZ is running with it. Anyway, they said, Kanye West, here's how I think child custody should go. As trial looms with Kim Kardashian, Kanye ain't worried about that. Kanye is on his 12th lawyer, literally talking about swimmer ideas with his new girlfriend while Kim is sitting there releasing, at least in my mind, Articles from page six, hating in the sidelines, right? That's what happens when a girl you look up to, you idolize, you think is so gorgeous. Kanye mm -hmm. said, for real, which one's your favorite? Which one? Her or her? Her? Which one? No, I want to know. I want to know. Which one? Oh, she's my favorite. That's my new girl, Angie, the head of Gap Yeezy. And all your swag the, that I usually give to you, I'm giving to her. And the way I elevated you, she already got a platform. We about to be major. Kanye ain't slick. Petty Gemini, right? But then again, maybe I'm being skeptic. Maybe they're really in love. Anyway, there we go. Kanye West has tipped his hand in his divorce case. How custody is going to work. Again, he said this on a podcast. However, he did say it on the podcast. Jay jumped onto the Alo Mind podcast Friday. Alo Mind is like this yoga thing. And I kept saying, what's Kanye doing on that podcast? I'm just not seeing the link. But now I do. His new boo Candace, I think is either one of the investors or she's really cool with it, but somehow she's in business with Alo. Look at this. Kanye's already supporting his new boo, showing him her that he can upgrade her. Now, I will say this. Um, how come he didn't do that for Chaney? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shane deserve it. He didn't up it. He didn't upgrade uh Amber. Uh, what was it? Amber Rose either. Anyway, um, Jay jumped on the Alo Mind podcast Friday and said, even on this day, 
Even to this day, I still give Kim advice on things that can help because that's going to go to the kids. She still got them 80% of the time to raise those children. Now, let me just decipher this because a lot of people were in my DMs calling me crazy in the comment section saying I'm a liar. Kim owns part of Yeezy, right? We do not know how much, but we know on Valentine's Day, Kanye gifted her a million dollars and a contract for a percentage of ownership of Yeezy. Not only that, Kanye's money is deep in skims, right? Why would he want skims to fail when that's part of his billion dollar empire? Like he says, he still gives her advice to this day on the things that can actually go into his kid's legacy. Kanye may be a lot of things and y'all call him crazy, but the boy ain't stupid. Why would you destroy a billion, a billion dollar company for what? To stick it to Kim? Nah. Anyway, um, also, he said she still got them 80% of the time to raise those children. Now, again, TMZ is saying that the reason that's significant, source is connected to the pharma couple. Hi, Chris. Uh, say is Ka Kanye hasn't engaged with his lawyer, whoever that is now, because he's gone through five already about the remaining issues of, in the divorce, custody and property settlement. How would you know that? You just said he hasn't engaged with his lawyer whoever that is now, how would you know who he's engaged it with if you don't even know who his lawyer is? Second of all, Kanye was saying she's got them 80% of the time now. The way I read it, that still doesn't mean that he's not going to have them. He's not going for 50-50 custody or 40-60 or 30-70, right? He's literally speaking about she has them. She still got them 80% of the time. So she still has to raise those children. Also, this custody and property settlement, who said they didn't have any shared property? Because even TMZ is now saying that I was right. I was right. I was right. I just, I just want everybody to know that. Oh, it feels so good. Hold on. I was right. Hold on. Ooh. Feels good. Okay, anyway. They said the trial set for December if Kanye stays radio si silent. So far, his side hasn't engaged Kim's team at all about this. Why? They don't want to. They can engage him a month before. What, what would they, The only way they would have to engage Kim's team is if they needed more evidence and discovery and they would have to go to the court to ask for uh, to ask for additional dis discovery, right? Because you need the court's permission for that. Or you would engage them to settle. So why would he engage Kim's? Why, why would he? The more I read this article, the more I see, okay, once again, we were right. TMZ is doing their cap. Anyway, they said, but saying Kim gets 80% is the first time we've heard any sort of structure, which is the first step in hashing out this agreement. Um, he didn't say that Kim's going to have them 80%. She says that right now he she has them 80% of the time. But remember, he's been going all up and down screaming about he wants to be more involved. He wants more this. He wants more that. The reason why he's actually going to court is because he's trying to fight the current custody scheme. TMC can't never get nothing right. And that's what I love them. Anyway, my little time to us. Let me know what you think. Uh, what? Let me know what you think about me being right. Let me know what you think. And also, do how do you read what Kanye said? Because I listened to the podcast and that's how I heard it. Anyway, my little time to us. I will talk to you later. Bye.